Hey, what's up, guys? This is the second time I'm recording this video because somebody called me. I'm recording this on my phone again, and it screwed up my video, so this one might not be very exciting. So, anyway, I've got some cool stuff to share with you guys today. I've been uh, I've been extremely busy lately. I got my new job, and um, I am overwhelmed with the amount of information I'm receiving during a daily basis there. So I'm trying my best to keep up with them and do my research. So my research went. Boom, we kind of hit a downhill motion there, but no problem. Exciting news today. Yesterday I got the divider plates in. Um, I personally want to thank a guy by the name of Rod, a guy by the name of Alex, and a guy by the name of Keith. Um, leave the last names out for now. I just personally want to thank you guys. Uh, they are actually the ones who donated these and that spent the time and effort and uh, resources. So, I'm going to show you what they are and what they look like. Bam! There they are. Um... There are 45 of these divider plates. These are the wider ones. There are 45 of these divider plates. These are the skinnier ones. Then there are five wide plates that will be holding my bus bars. And five small plates which will be holding my bus bars. Basically it will look just like this. Um, you can see how those fit in there real nice. Um, the one thing... Um, well, I guess I'll tell you because I, like I said, this is the second time I'm recording this, so I got to remember everything I said the first time. Uh, Bill Williams, I actually sketched this up. And Bill uh, drew it up in CAD and then sent it over to Rod and uh, Alex and Keith, and they did the real work. So I want to thank everybody again. Anyone who's donated any time, effort, thought, anything, thank you. Um, RWGResearch.com, all the information you need to know if you've never seen any of this stuff or if you're wondering what it is. So, there are the plates. Uh, the one thing I did not have them do is cut the slot in the bottom. And the reason I didn't do that is because it would have been hard to cut a teeny tiny slot. So what I did is took a pair of scissors and cut it. And basically, it goes on the EPG just like this. Put the bottom on, put the top on, and there you go. One divider plate. Um, you can see on the bottom how it's how it fits. Um, some of the pipe is real loose. See, like right here it's loose. If I pull it up here it's kind of tight. What I'll have to do is take the Dremel and just barely hit the inside of these divider plates so that they fit snug. Because some of them where the pipe is pulled apart here they fit a little bit too tight. Um, which is fine. What I'm going to do is glue them on here. Uh, after I get them set up i got to mark the EPG and basically I will... Uh, see how these go on here doesn't look like they'd fit but just like that that's all it is um, these are going to be like I said glued on here I'm going to put them all in place and tack them on there I'll be marking this pipe uh, I'll have to do that with uh, a uh, what you call it like a I can't think today a wheel with all the markings on it for the radiuses and whatnot but anyway so yeah I'm pretty excited about that. These are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and again, they were they were a donation. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. These are, this would take me or anyone else an extremely very long time to cut out by hand. The outside wouldn't have been too bad, but the inside is where the trouble would have been. And get them all correct and right and make it look decent. So I'm very blessed right now with that. I want to thank everybody involved. Um, so now... It's time to take this spool of wire and wrap it on the PG. Now I'll probably have to purchase another spool of wire and um, because that should really only do half. I've got somewhere in here a spool of 22 to test with. This came out of a TV and I'll basically, uh, I think it was 250 foot on here and I'll be wrapping 250 foot on one and see what it looks like. Too much, too less. I can add or take away to make it physically look the same as what Stan had because that's the only thing I have to go off of. I don't have measurements or anything like that. So, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I'm still working on the ionizer and the other circuitry. Like I said, I've been really busy with work, being pounded with information, and I have to remember every bit of it uh, to do my job correctly. So. Uh, that's it. Russ with RWGResearch.com. If you guys know the man by the name of Mike Hedge, uh, he actually stopped by uh, last week, and I haven't had time to get his video online. 
Uh, basically, we hang out in the basement, did some stuff, went through everything. He's a really cool guy. Um, he's from California. I think this was his 105th day out, and uh, we took some pretty cool pictures. He he has this book. It's called the Jump Book or the Jumping Album or something. And he's actually the world record holder for the most amount of pictures taken by a single person of I believe like people in the air or jumping. Sounds weird, but it's really cool. And uh, I'm in the book now because he actually stopped and took pictures. Um, so anyway, I'll be putting that video online. Some of you are going, what is this? That's what it is. I don't know if I can edit some of the footage that he recorded, but I'd like to stick it on the end. Anyway. Whoa. Anyway, this is Russ with rwgresearch.com. Peace, guys. Um, I'll try to make more videos and do more stuff, but it's been a little busy lately. So still working on this stuff in the background, and hopefully next time you see the EPG, it will be covered with wire. So, anyway, have a blessed day, guys. God bless you all. Thanks for everyone's help. Peace.